you've probably seen some really cool 3D printed things. Whether it's a custom adapter or some gears for demonstration purposes, or even some practical things like this wall anchor. With the rise of new 3D printing companies like Bamboo Lab, 3D printing is easier than ever. You no longer have to struggle with difficult to use 3D printers that require calibration and just aren't that great. Newer 3D printers are way more reliable and just work. So if you're looking at getting into 3D printing, now is absolutely the best time. And in this video, I'll show you everything you need to know to get started. So here we have a 3D printer, and this is probably the best 3D printer for beginners. And how it works is it prints an object using what's called filament. So here is a spool of filament, and it's a plastic that's called PLA. And what it does is it takes this plastic and it goes up through this tube right here. It melts the plastic and extrudes it while moving to create a shape layer by layer. But what 3D printer should you get? There are a ton of options, but I would highly recommend the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. This is not an ad or a full review, but this 3D printer requires no assembly, no calibration, has Wi-Fi capabilities, and it's ultra fast, all at 299 USD. Now, how do you actually find things to 3D print? If you have a Bamboo Lab 3D printer and a phone, it's really easy. Just use the Bamboo Lab app, and you can scroll through a bunch of models that are uploaded onto their platform. Now, once again, this is not a Bamboo Lab paid sponsorship. They just have the best ecosystem and 3D printers by far. So after scrolling through the app a little bit, I found this cable organizer that looks interesting. So I went ahead and selected it. And all you have to do is click prepare for printing. And with Bamboo Lab, you're completely logged into their ecosystem in cloud. So it knows which 3D printer you have. You select that and then go ahead and click print. So immediately the 3D printer starts downloading the file. It plays a little jingle and it performs its self calibration. Being able to print from your phone directly to your 3D printer is a huge step forward in the world of 3D printing, especially for those that aren't so technically inclined. There are also a ton of different websites where you can download STL files. Most traditionally is Thingiverse. We have my website as well, and we have Threadboards, the most popular STL. I have to do a shout out to my good friend Jay from JBV Creative. He has a lot of really unique STL designs. And there's also websites like Colt3D.com. And we also have another website website that's more geared towards miniatures, which is My Mini Factory. So let's say you want to download an STL from a third-party website like my website, shameless plug. You find the STL that you want to download, go through the checkout process, click download now. Now you simply take your STL file and drag it into a program that's called a slicer. This is Bamboo Studio. It's a slicing program that prepares your model for 3D printing. It's similar to the app where you can select your 3D printer, your build plate, select the colors, but it does allow you a lot more freedom on all of the different settings. Usually default settings are fine. Here you can preview the sliced file and then you can go ahead and click print plate, select your 3D printer and click send. Let's go ahead and jump back to the print that we started on the phone. It's getting close to finishing now. So now in just about 24 minutes, this 3D printed object is finishing now. And we printed it all from our phone. Let's go ahead and see how it turned out. This type of build plate is called a PEI build plate and after it cools down, the part releases effortlessly. So you can see how easy 3D printing really is. My name is Steven, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and happy printing.